Oh, you said a couple of things that were really interesting in your talk. Um, one of them was that you said you'd like to bring something to your next job when you consider, or your next opportunity. And I was wondering what it is you feel um, you're hoping to bring to NOAA. Uh, obviously, you've been there a whole year. But what would you say? I was attracted to NOAA because of the qualities of science and the opportunity to use science to base policy and management decisions to help save lives and property and to address some of the really challenging issues of our time. And I am just delighted that it's such a vibrant, wonderful organization. Uh, my hopes and aspirations for NOAA are pretty ambitious. Uh, we want to do what we well, do what we do well, but even better. So uh, our weather forecasts, our weather-related disaster warnings uh, are good, but they can be even better because we can uh, increase the time between when we provide a warning uh, and when people can you know, just increase that the, the warning time. That's critically important. Uh, if we can improve the accuracy of our predictions uh, and our forecasts, that's critically important to people. But so much of what we do is increasingly being influenced by climate change. And having information about what we know about climate change and climate variability, uh, how we should be thinking about making decisions uh, as we move into a climate change world, is incredibly important. And one of the things that we are working actively on is to provide climate services so that people can have the information they need and make better decisions accordingly. We also are connecting the climate changes to much of the other mission that we have at NOAA for stewardship. Uh, so our fisheries, our coastal zone areas are increasingly affected by climate change. And so connecting the dots across the line offices of NOAA is very important. Does, and does creating a, a, say creating a climate services uh, office or department of some, some sort within NOAA, does that increase the connections or in a way that it, it perturbs the ecosystem of NOAA? So I'm sort of wondering how that enhances what the NOAA is able to do. Increasing, uh, well, let me start that differently. As we're thinking about creating climate services at NOAA, uh, we want to keep the science connected to the services because the science is changing so rapidly. And it only serves to increase the importance of connecting across the line offices within NOAA. We need to connect the dots within the organization as well as to provide services outside the organization. Some of those dots that are important to connect include the importance of the continuity of our climate and weather information from space. And so that's yet another of my priorities, is to ensure the continuity of the data and information we're getting about climate change and about weather from our satellites. It seems like a, a lot of, a lot, this, this ecosystem of, of uh, NOAA needs a lot to, to thrive. What are some of the needs that it has in addition to satellite information? Are there areas where you know, better modeling, more resources for computers, or just more interaction? What kinds of things do you see that need to drive? To be able to deliver the full range of science, services, and stewardship that is our mission at NOAA, we really need to have people who uh, understand what's needed. We need the tools to be able to uh, do our jobs and to due to the sharing of information with others. Uh, and we need uh, a real spirit of cooperation within NOAA, but with other agencies and, and other partners, our corporate partners, for example. So part of what we are doing uh, after my first year at NOAA is taking a good hard look at what we have, how we can strengthen the connections within NOAA, but also how we can increase the uh, ability to grow in some new directions, uh, to uh, have the assets that we need to be delivering what the nation needs for us. What, what new directions were you thinking of in terms of growing? Um, providing climate services is a good example of new directions for NOAA. Uh, we already provide some services but clearly there's a lot more that we could be doing. And 
so we're trying to think strategically about uh, what we could be doing, what we should be doing, how it's going to be maximally useful to a variety of users, and how our role in providing climate services will be complementary to what other agencies might be doing. Uh, climate services, to me, often just means climatology or, you know, modeling, perhaps. Uh, how does it draw in some of the other areas in, within NOAA, meteorology in particular, but also the ecology and, and uh, ocean aspect? For climate services to be useful to people, it has to provide information or tools or data uh, that are relevant to the decisions those people are making. And because the users are so variable from uh, agencies doing land management to our own fishery management to water managers in a city to uh, the agricultural industry, transportation industry, et cetera, uh, we need to do uh, a, a good job of tailoring what we're providing to people so that it's useful to them so that it's understandable and relevant to the decisions that they are making. We can't just sit back and say, we know what you want. We have to ask people, what do you want, and how is it going to be most useful to you, and then do that matchmaking. So it's not an easy task, and it really requires uh, rethinking our ways of operating, connecting to our users, having ongoing ways to be flexible and adaptive. That's actually a really fun challenge.